What's in my bag? Huh? Ah. Hey. Won't be needing that anymore. Okay, so a brief history of Anzac Day is going to be scrolling across the screen. Now these are Anzac Biscuits. Uh, the version I do is slightly different to the original recipe uh, because I'm cooking them for people who can't have coconut and we also have to watch the sugar levels. So I've got no coconut and no good syrup in mine. If you're wanting the original recipe which is quite chewy and very gritty, do Google that. If you want any more information on Anzac Day, Google that as well, because otherwise my video is going on forever. Okay, here we go. As per normal, oven on to 180 degrees, warming it up. We're going to need 500 grams of margarine or canola spread, slightly melted. Then we're going to grab three cups of sugar, dump that in there, give it a quick buzz round so it's nice and creamy. You might not have one of these flash ones that the bowl spins around that stands up by itself. You can use your normal hand mixer or if you don't have one of those use a whisk or get in there with your wooden spoon. Okay, vanilla essence. Need about 4 teaspoons of this. Now I just put in a couple of splashes and mix it all in while it's going. Then you're going to need 4 eggs. I tend to crack them into a cup first just to make sure I've got no shells. Then I put them in and we'll keep beating that until it's nice and smooth and all the sugar is dissolved. Okay, so we didn't have any baking powder in the cupboard and they had nothing at the four square, so I've got self-raising flour. We want eight cups of that put into another bowl. You also want three cups of oats. So I'm using rolled oats here because they're a lot smoother and don't give you that gritty feeling in between your teeth. Then take your liquid ingredients, stick them in the bowl with all the dry, scoop it all in there and then give it a good mix until everything is combined. Okay, so you should have a soft dough. So now I just scoop the little spoonfuls out onto either greased paper, or in my case I have these non-stick silicone trays, and then we put them into the oven for 15 minutes. Now be very careful here, depend on your oven to where you should be putting them. I always use the middle rack because in my oven it's real good and it gives it the even heat because otherwise you end up with burnt bottoms, burnt tops or non-rising biscuits. Then BAM! 15 minutes later we've got biscuits ready to go. In this case the recipe that I've used does make about 55 biscuits. You may want to split if you think. I'll put the recipes at the end in the single amounts. Got a recipe you want me to try? Let me know down below. I'll be taking some suggestions, seeing what I can do and getting some of these other videos up.